Welcome back. Well, as I mentioned, we have Diane Harkey here, who is an Orange County Supervisor candidate for the 5th District. Well, welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm very pleased to be here. Thanks for having me back. I've been yeah. here before. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been a while. I, I know that you, uh, has been. you went and you did some other things, and now you're back uh, in the uh, po political limelight, if you will. So uh, here you are running for 5th District, the Orange yes. County Supervisor. What brings you back? Well, um, I love or South Orange County, and before the district lines got changed, this was just the seat for me. I, I, I was asked to run for it prior to, uh, prior to the redistricting, and mm -hmm. I know it very well. I've represented it for many years, the last 15 years as an elected person, and I just, you know, I felt like it was my thing. I understand it. I've been right. in Dana Point for 40 years, and I've worked at every level of government, mm -hmm. including constitutional. Exactly, so. exactly. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on right now that people feel, they feel unsafe. They see an unfortunate situation happening with homelessness. And then I think that just overall, you know, people are really struggling. So you have a couple of things that are some challenges for you. How do you, how do you think you can address them? Right. Homelessness, believe it or not, is like the number one polled issue. And I think South Orange County has not really stepped up to solve the problem. We've had resolutions in the northern two sections. The homeless issue is spread up into three f sections, according to the courts. Mm -hmm. But South Orange County has some work to do. And I have been work. I've been looking into nonprofits that are doing an excellent job. We need to expand on that. We know what works. Yeah, it's being done. We just have to find the locations. Be sure that the cities aren't aren't just impacted. But you can move homeless out of an area if you have somewhere to move them to. You mm -hmm. can't just shove them onto the next community. So I'll be working really hard with that. Uh, we have wraparound services. Uh, you know, that provide a lot of care, and we just, we need locations or location, a central intake, right. like they do. Right, Thank exactly. You. Well, that, that's good to know because, you know, as you mentioned, it's something that we do certainly see uh, on the TV a lot, especially in Northern California, where it's, you know, really unfortunate. So. Oh, it's, it's out of control there. There's yeah. no doubt about yeah. it, and yeah. we will not have that. Orange County's mm -hmm. a little bubble. We've got our issues, but we're taking care of them, Perfect. and we can do more. Perfect. Now, I know that you are endorsed by the Orange County Sheriff's Department, so public safety obviously is number one uh, for you in addition to the other things. Tell me how that, uh, you know, that relationship is helping you. Well, public safety is really important. It's the number one reason that governments were formed to begin with is, to, you know, there's, there's, there's safety in numbers, so to speak, and we like our public safety. Like I said, Orange County is a bit of a bubble, mm -hmm. and it's not by accident that we are virtually very crime-free. We have a great sheriff's department. We had good, good, strong PDs when we were having riots, you know, uh, BLM riots and stuff. We got very little effect from that, mm -hmm. and it's not because it didn't happen. It's because we have strong law enforcement. And right now we're getting uh, gangs coming in from Brazil and mm -hmm. other areas mm -hmm. that are doing kind of a, a robbery tourism kind of thing. They fly in and they are collecting in groups and targeting homes. So if you like early bird specials, now is really the time to go get them because they're <laughs> targeting between four and eight when they think everybody's out out to dinner. Oh wow. And there's not just one person, it's like several, and they'll, they'll scope out your house. So it's really wow. important. Um, anyway, that's that's only one thing. But yeah. you know, we've got we've got the homeless issue under there, which we're dealing with a lot of a lot of agencies with, not just law enforcement, but mm -hmm. they are one prong. Mm -hmm. We've got the robbery issue and uh, we've also got the smash and grabs and other things that don't occur here. Right. In, you know, and we don't want them here. It's really important right. that we keep our DA strong and that we, we have Sheriff Barnes, thank goodness. He's mm -hmm. a great guy and he's endorsed me. I've also been endorsed by the Association of Deputy District Attorneys okay. and as well as the uh, law enforcement uh, AOCDS. So they think highly of me and they stand with me and I right. stand with them. We may have to fund a little extra for more positions because Sacramento is not helping us and right. we do not want to become LA. Absolutely not. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the businesses. I mean, obviously, there's been uh, a real uh, blow to many of our local, you know, small businesses because either they had to shut down or you know they were just struggling to get people to come to them. What are some things that you think you can do to help out? Well, I worked. Well, I worked as a 
as an elected representative in the Board of Equalization, where I was the first chair, first Republican chair in 15 years, which was really an anomaly. But I was able to help a lot of businesses through just advice on tax issues, helping them you know, prepare themselves. Uh, we, at the county level, we can reduce regs where we have the opportunity and work with our cities. And there are certain grants that the state is granting, but we need to help them to get on their feet. And we have to take the fear out of the COVID because mm -hmm. we kind of moved beyond that now. Right. And so I would like to be sure that everybody everywhere can get the meds and the therapies that are available because right now right. the vaccine doesn't seem to do it. So we need to be, I will be converting different facilities or adding to different facilities, like where you have a testing site, why not allow you to get your meds and other things. There's, there's, there's antivirals and things mm -hmm. we can get. So I think we need to move on to that. And I think that as people come out of that and as you know, we have inflation now and we have a really tight market for uh, employment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just to get people back to work would right. be very helpful. I see help wanted signs all over the place. Right. So through programs, through, uh, you know, internships, other things that we can do, we'll be sponsoring through the county so that we can get people back into the workforce because okay. we, we need active people. It's better for them. It's better for all of us. Yeah. And it's much better for our businesses. Yeah, overall, um, I, I understand that, you know, public safety and then, of course, uh, we also are dealing with mentally ill, right? Right. Now, that's not necessarily just homeless people. We have a variety of other people who may not be able to get the care that they need. What could you do to help those folks? Well, I have a personal history with that. My sister became uh, paranoid schizophrenic after 50. She mm. had kind of a PTSD meltdown after the 2008 crash mm. of the market. She oh. lost her job, lost her relationship, lost her house. She was devastated and it took us several years to, you know, to get her the help she needed. I was actually able to, through a process of really collecting data and putting together a dossier, uh, get conservatorship of her, which mm. lasted only seven months and then I released it. She's great. And so for adults and for, you know, dementia and for, uh, you know, all of, the, all of the diseases of the brain, there's a lot of new innovations mm -hmm. being at UCI, UCSD, and uh, they're, they're really up to speed on what you can do. And so I think healthcare will be really important for all of us. Yeah, well, it certainly is, especially for our community, as you know, it's 55 and over, and there's a lot of uh, costs that are coming down the pike uh, for insurance and Medicare and a variety, or Medicare supplements and things like that. So it will be. Boy, do I know it. Yeah, yeah. I'm 70. And, <laughs> and so, every time I work, I get hit a little harder. So yeah. I understand that. I understand yeah. that totally. So I will be trying, like I said, to get more of the services available without going right. through uh, the same programs without going to the, the gatekeeper, then mm -hmm. the getting the stuff. I mean, you know, we have limited time to, to fix ourselves or something else happens. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very supportive of, of getting the help they need. Um, right. You know, we have uh, new discoveries everywhere. And, you know, oh, I wanted to say too, I was reading that AgeWell now has meals in-house again. You can go yeah. visit and I encourage everybody to get out do it safely, however you're comfortable, because this, this COVID thing kind of was targeted at our age group. So yeah. do what you're comfortable with, but you need to get out. You need to circulate. Right. It's good for you mentally. It's good for you physically. Yeah. Get your exercise. I mean, get back to living again, because that's what we want to do. It's true. It's true. And one last thing. Uh, how much of a voice do you think we can have as, uh, well, you as a supervisor and as a, as a county in our nationwide type things happening? Great voice. We are always the target because we're kind of the little gem right now in California and we're very proud of it. But we support candidates across the nation. Mm -hmm. And it's time that we bring our money back home unless we get some value for it. And so I think we can have a great impact. I mean, I love funding good senators, good Congress people, and everybody else, including presidents. But I think it's really important that we fund our money or spend our money here in the district, pay attention to our home because politics is local. If it doesn't work for you locally, it's not gonna work for you nationally and don't let them ignore us. Perfect, well, I love it. Well, thank you very much for sharing the information and good luck. Thank you, thanks for having me and it's a pleasure. Thank you, Laguna Woods.
for, for listening. Thank you. Thank you. And if you want more information about Diane Harkey, you can always go to dianeharkey.com. We'll be right back.